Hello, hello, and welcome back to Apiary Miner. We're going to be testing out a different miner today called Mini Z Miner, which should be able to push my 3060s to 40 mega hash. Let's get into it. Now, this Mini Z Miner will also require the driver 460.39. And if you're having any trouble with it, like I was, you might want to refer back to one of my previous videos. I'll be honest though, I haven't had the most time lately, and I've been hesitant to test out different ways to work with these 3060s, because every time I change something, it seems to mess something up. And so, hopefully this will be quick and painless. We got my first hive here, and I'm gonna go over to Flight Sheets, and since I already have this Ether Miner Ethereum Flight Sheet, I'm going to just edit that. So I'm still gonna be using Hive Pool here. Only the miner is gonna change. It's actually a pretty long list. Did I pass it? No. Ah. Okay. Here it is. Nice. Now I'm gonna go into the setup configurations. Okay. So it looks like for this flight sheet, it's not filled out at all. So we're just gonna put some basic ones in your wallet. Let's go to URL here. As for the extra configurations, this is where you would put uh, which GPU you want to run on this miner, but I'm gonna run all three. So if you needed just one GPU out of an array of them and you're running multiple miners at a time, you'd want to put that. It looks like hyphen CD and then space and you'll put the number of the GPU. If I save and update, sweet. I think everything's good. Go back here, go to flight sheet. Okay, now I should be able to rocket it to the moon. Here we are on the shell, and if I just type in miner and enter, it should pull up. Okay, yeah, perfect. Yep, it is downloading. That'll just take a little bit more time. So, how are you? Wow, look at that. It just went right into it. But I have one, two, three GPUs. Right on. Should Mini Z be red like that? I don't know. So initially, it doesn't look like it's much better than LOL Miner. But look at that though. Two of the cards are pushing 40 mega hash, even without the overclocks, but the third one is not running well at all. It's actually gone down. Huh. Interesting. But I haven't put in those overclock settings yet, so that will be the next step. So I got this from Mini Z Miner on Google. For our overclocks, according to the article, we're going with negative 150 on the core for all of them. 2700 on the memory. And then I set that power limit to 120. Maybe those overclocks will get them all up to 40. Oh, you know what I just noticed? They say zero on the fan. But they look like they've crashed up here. I'm getting a zero, but I'm looking at them right now and they're still spinning. The third GPU that didn't go up to 40, that one's still running, or the fans are still running. This is interesting. You know what? Nothing an old reboot can't fix, right? Sometimes you just need to be a little rebooted. It's just gotta get a little reboot. That's easy. It's simple. So, rebooted it up, and we're registered the temperatures, it's registered the fans, but it is not registering any mega hash. So, I don't know. In fact, no, wait. Now, now it's not registering anything. Oh, no. It just crashed all three cards. Oh, no. Look, I lost the temps, I lost the fans. Looks like we're just no card in it right now. Just no cards to be seen. In fact, HiveOS isn't even registering when I click on the shutdown or reboot, so now I have to do it manually. See, is what I'm talking about, you guys. You try to change something and everything goes wrong. Ah, uh, dang it, dang it, dang it. Okay, I wanna do a couple more reboots and see where I can go from here. I am not sure. So, here I am, still not running, and I jumped out of the computer, because you can see, now, I didn't just crash the GPU this time, I actually crashed all of HiveOS. So, what do you do when that happens? I go back to, what, re-etching my card again? I mean, I've become quite, quite proficient at it. I'm actually pretty quick. So, <sighs> won't be the biggest deal in the world, but good golly, it's frustrating. You know, the problem is I, I got greedy. I wanted those extra few mega hash so bad that I had to switch things around. You know, this is why I've been trying to just let it ride out. Just, just don't mess up a good thing. It's 460.39. You driver! So, false alarm. 
Uh, looks like the old N64 trick came through. Just pulling it out, blowing on it, sticking right back in, and wham bam, now I'm running. Through a little troubleshooting, I found out that the reason that these cards are not running efficiently is because I wasn't on the right version of Mini Z Minor. When I downloaded it, it downloaded the newest version. And so you want to go in to your versions and make sure you are specifically using version 1.8Y3. Once I downgraded to that version, it started running like a charm. And now I'm sitting at 40 mega hash, which is just awesome. <laughs> And it's taken a couple of reboots of Mini Z Minor, but for the most part, it's uh, it's going strong. And I've seen a lot of people online say that you kind of have to trial and error, reboot it until you can get it to run correctly, and then you want to leave it. <laughs> the cool thing about this is with a little persistence, you can usually figure something out in the end. It takes a little bit of finessing. Uh, I mean, that's the thing. GPU mining is really, really finicky. I mean, sometimes you think you're cards are running and then you come back and nothing's running. I kind of thought initially upon getting into this, it'd be like that old uh, infomercial. Set it and forget it. Yeah, but it's not like that at all. You have to be on it. And the more you do it, and I'm sure the more you invest in it, the more you actually want to be looking at it all the time. You're actually like become obsessive with it almost. I'm trying not to get too crazy about it. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna sign it off there. Uh, this is a success for Mini Z. Minor, we, we got our 40 mega hash on our three cards. I'll keep an update on whether or not it's consistent. And if you've been running your 3060s on Mini Z Minor, please comment down below. I'd love to hear from some other people who are working with this, uh, this Minor. Speaking of my commenters, thank you so much for everyone who has subscribed and been commenting on my video so far. I really appreciate the feedback and I'm enjoying getting to converse with some cool people. But I gotta tell you, I'm happy to be a part of it. And if you'd like to be a part of my small part of that mining community, please uh, subscribe down below. And please uh, have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you again soon.